Hello, my lovely YouTube fans. Today, we are going to be working on a crochet city play mat. Um, I'm gonna be making one for my son, and I thought it would be really cool to show you guys how to make one. So, I'm going to be using this um, Cortana, which I have right here, the Cortana um, yarn that I'm going to be using. Now, I couldn't find all the colors I needed in this uh, brand of yarn. So I went with this one with the yellow, which um, I've had it for a while and I really don't remember what kind of yellow, what kind, what kind of brand of yarn this is, what yellow it is. So, um, but this is 100% cotton. They're all 100% cotton. So this one was green apple. Uh, this one was, I believe, old linen, and this one is dark olive. Um, you can use any yellow cotton, but as you can see, I've been working on the project already here, and my green is a little small. So, I um, since I can't get any more of this color because they are out, I have to order it and it takes too long. So I will be using this here for the rest of my green. If I run out, I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna have enough or not. Um, the, this is, I believe, cotton and bamboo. So, cause I had just ordered this one. So it'll be some different colors. As you can see, there's two different colors here. One's lighter than the other, but that'll be fine. Um, so we're going to be using a D hook where you're going to need a pair of scissors and um, a yarn needles to sew in all your ends. Now I'm going to move this yarn off to the side and we're going to get started with our green since we're going to be making our patches of grass first. So the first thing we're going to do is make our slip knot and we are going to chain 25. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And now, you're just gonna go back and single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end. Now, once you get to the very end, you're gonna chain one, and you're gonna single crochet all the way back. And you're gonna continue to go back and forth with your single crochets until you have reached 25 uh, rows and then um, once we have finished our 25 rows because I'm gonna do mine's off camera of course once we finish our 25 rows when we get back I will show you how to do the border for our little patch of grass Okay, so I have went ahead and I have done my 24 uh, rows of single crochet here and I'm just about to finish the last single crochet but before I finish my last single crochet I'm gonna go ahead and finish with my white I'm gonna finish with my white so I can start my border now I'm going to go ahead and cut off my green here because I don't need this anymore and now we're gonna start with our white for our border and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go right into this corner right here where we finished our last single crochet and we're going to put two single crochets 
and then we're gonna chain two, one and two. And then we're gonna put two more single crochets into that same space. And then we're just gonna evenly single crochet all the way around this entire little square, putting the two single crochet chain two, two single crochet into each corner. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna end with a slip knot, just like that. And there we have our first um, little patch of grass. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off this extra I don't need. I'm going to end it by securing. I'm just gonna make a knot in the end of this to secure it. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go, secure that. And now I just need to grab a yarn needle. Uh-oh, okay, I've got too many of these. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a yarn needle and I'm just going to weave in all of my ends. I'm just gonna go right up under some of these stitches here up under a, a whole lot just pull through then we'll just straighten it out and then we'll just cut off any extra just like that and there we have our very first patch of grass now um, you can make as many of these as you want but I am going to be making 12 of these uh, to go with the little play mat that I'm going to be making for my son. So 12 little patches of grass. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this, uh, the rest of these little grass patches off camera and then when I get back, we'll start working on the roads for the play mat. Okay, so I have gone ahead and I have finished my 12 little patches of um, grass here and I just wanted to show you. So here is the one that is in complete cotton and I ran out of this cotton but ended up having another color that is not cotton that was pretty much the um, same color. So this uh, color, this is um, the Simply Soft. I do not know what color it is but I had some of this Simply Soft sitting around and I used it because it looks exactly like the same color. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our grass patches to the uh, side and we're going to be using gray and yellow. So what we're going to do is you're gonna go around twice with your gray. So you're just going to stop and attach your yarn, which I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to attach my yarn here. And then I'm going to chain two and crochet over. And crochet over my little tail. And we're going to do two rows of single crochet while putting two single crochet chain two one and two and then two single crochets into each corner and then you're going to join at the end so I'm just gonna do it's just one single crochet all the way around 
hand into two two rows of this now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish up my two rows off camera and then when I am done I will come back and show you what we are going to do with our yellow Okay, so I went ahead and I did my two rows of gray, and now we're gonna bring in our yellow. So what we're gonna do is we're going to chain two, and we're gonna continue with our gray around this first corner. So one, two, and then three right here, three single crochets, and then right into the corner with our two single crochets and chain two then two more single crochets into that same space and then we're going to go in three so one two and three and before we finish this single crochet we're going to finish it with our yellow and we're going to crochet over the rest of our um, yarn so one two three this is four five six seven and then we have eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen Um, check yeah about 15 stitches so I'm gonna go back then we want to just bring that down and bring up our gray again now you can cut it off or you can continue to keep going so and then you're just gonna do regular single crochets until you get over your corner so I'm gonna continue to keep going and then I have my corner which I'm putting my two single crochets and I'm chaining two and then two single crochets one and two then we do three, so one, two, and three. And then before I finish, I'm gonna go ahead and do my yellow, finish with my yellow. Now, you're gonna continue this all the way around until you join at the end right here. And then you're gonna do one round of just gray okay so this is one finished square with our grass and then our uh, road here so this is how you want to do all 12 of our little squares here and then we'll um once all 12 are done we will sew them together so I'm gonna finish uh, the rest of my little squares off camera 
and like I said when we when I get back and I'm done then I'll show you how to sew each one together <laughs> 